Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to remove the shortcut arrow from your shortcuts in Windows 11. So this is going to involve a registry, edit, and also the use of a blank icon file like the one we have here. So to begin with, we're going to take this blank icon file and copy it to the Windows system folder here. I'll just right drag it in here to copy. And you're going to need admin access to do this, so you'll say continue. Assuming you have admin access. Okay, so that file is there. All right, so now we have our registry files here. So one to remove and one to undo the removal of the shortcut arrow. So if we look at the remove registry file here, just open it in Notepad. You can see what it's going to do using this blank icon file that we just copied to the Windows folder. And then the undo to reverse it. You can see what that's going to do. So this is something you do yourself, or you can just run these registry files, which I will put a link for in the description. All right, so first we're going to do the remove shortcut arrow registry file. So it's going to give you a prompt here. So you click on run, say yes to the prompt, assuming you're an admin to do so. Then say yes to the registry editor saying we want to import this file. And then okay to confirm. All right, so now we need to restart Windows Explorer. I always like to close any File Explorer windows before doing so to make sure you have the right one. So we'll go to Task Manager. It's usually near the bottom here. Windows Explorer, uh, yours won't have the same icon. You'll have a folder icon. Mine has this little shortcut icon from doing something else. So I'm gonna right click, restart. Okay, and now you can see our shortcut arrow has been removed. And then if we want to undo it, we just simply do the same thing, but with this registry file. And then of course we're gonna to have to restart Explorer again. And now we have our shortcuts back, so pretty simple. All right, so if you're the type of person who does not like the shortcut arrows, here's a pretty easy way to do it. I have not tried this in Windows 10, but I assume it should work, so you could give it a shot if you're still running Windows 10. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description where you could download the icon file plus the two registry files. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.